One to South Carolina, another to Auburn, and another to FAU. Trying to wrap up non-conference play here on a high note before the ACC slate continues fully. A three-level scorer who can step out away from the basket as well as be a threat on the block. Here comes Elijah Stevens with the shot clock running down. Ball is Sager Webb able to get to the 10. One of the bright surprises for Virginia Tech this year is Hunter Couture lets one fly and connects. That's your run at a three-point shooter like Couture. Comes Rex Steiner with a zip inside. Hope he scored quickly there. Rex Steiner getting some valuable time. Off of the bench in the win against Vermont. Had the start against Valparaiso. And this could be a big game for Balasager Webb to, to, to coach Young that he can be trusted. And uh, you know, I, now he's earning the trust of his teammates also. Oh, Sager Webb gets blocked by Kidd. That may be a nice battle on both ends. Finding Lynn Kidd. What a pass Lynn that was. Kidd. How many people would have been surprised if you said. Out to the corner for Smalls. Knocks down the three. Three point basket is good. Anytime there's penetration and somebody's got to help coming into this game. He said, we're going to be able to score, but how well can we defend against Virginia Tech? Yeah, that's been their issue all year. There you see it rearing its ugly head again. They... Good job of defensive transition that time. But they, they didn't communicate. Left Tyler Nickel wide open on the baseline. Did you ever get to coach against Gary Williams, Matt? Uh, no. I've watched him practice a lot, though, when we used to go around and watch different people practice. Of course, no Morgan Lynn Wooten extremely Kidd. well, uh, or new Morgan Wooten. Uh, Presented for this team from D.C. And the two seven-footers are back in. We can call them both seven-footers, yeah, right? Right. Robbie Barron also in for the first time for Virginia Tech out of the break. And a few others represented around the world as well. There's Hunter Couture with a pickpocket right to the rim and rolls in. Swing it out for Donatio. Yeah, Donatio, that's a player that... Donatio hits the three. Get a bit of energy there for... Young and Camden, two guys off the bench, got a couple good looks. Left him wide open under the basket. That's Greg Jones, the freshman. But athletic, can play multiple positions. Lynn Kidd somehow made that play work. Wow. Be lucky, Les Jones, two veteran guys out there. There's Lynn Kidd with a slam. Ten points already for Kidd. Top of the key for Stevens. He has to shoot it. Got it off right at the buzzer. The talented guard able to find the bucket. Step into the paint. Lynn Kidd with a second chance points. Looking for help against Couture. Wessler on the floor here in the first half for Tech. And another three able to go for Elijah Stevens. And you saw him flash up the three point sign there. Top of the key. Smalls working inside. Good bucket for American. Smalls a senior taking on that freshman. Robbie Barron up to NJ Collins. Ends the trap for the Hokies. Bring it into the big man, Wessler, with a jump stop. Rattles home. Wessler! Once again, working down the shot clock. Down to five, Noah Jones. Sprouse able to hit the three, three to keep American in this. Good job. MJ Collins ready to check in for the Hokies as American continues to hang around. Tech is led by as much as 11. Wide open down low, Lynn Kidd seven for seven. He is taking advantage of that size. Another inside lob to Lynn Kidd. What a first half timeout by American timeout. Lynn Kidd. Spot, got, got to put Balasegger Webb back in the game with, despite the two fouls and, and hope he doesn't pick up that third one. 
Kai Long probing inside and finds his way off the glass. And played against Virginia Tech very well down in Charleston when he was playing with ODU. Mayock nails the three. Shooter over shooter right there. Advantage Mayock over Nickel. Just keeping American on that perimeter. There's the penetration. Stolen by Couture, lead pass to Long. Back for MJ Collins. Good decision again by Long. What a dish, ball with Sager Webb, high percentage look. He's been impressive. Rex Steiner with a jump hook. Returns Kidd, left-hander. Perfection. Just taking one shot. Made it, has two points. Another foul, count the basket for Elijah Stevens. See, he's already beat Couture. The only thing Couture is trying to catch up. Body. Around the arc, no open look so far for the Hokies. Poteet trying to make one, and he does. Cross court lob, Collins was open, pump fake, right to the rim. That's an impressive play for the young man from South Carolina. Nice, patient play. Green and orange. This is really and, and, neat shoes, yeah. yeah. Sager Webb, two defenders. I was in school. Okay, I was about to say. Not, not the ones in the 30s. I'll give you that. Thanks. <laughs> Dribbled inside. Robbie Barron crashes in to snatch the ball away. Lynn Kidd, how did he find that ball? I can't believe that catch. I cannot believe he caught that ball. Three on the way. Good. Great mistake right there. MJ Collins got caught on the screen. Still hanging around 47 40. MJ Collins, great dish. Lynn Kidd double teamed inside. Now big, one on one advantage. with Noah Jones. Big advantage right here. And he has worked that advantage. He still only missed one shot. Big defensive play. Back in for Lynn Kidd, and one, his night continues. Just too big. Now is the leading scorer for this Virginia Tech team. Rex Steiner lets it fly. Wow, MJ Collins skyrocketing to the rim. Some absolute air here, Mac. We may be seeing this. And a block on the other end. Collins was there, almost. Let's take a web. He'll get another chance to make this. Collins. Oh, he's starting to heat up. MJ Collins first the dunk. Well, now a long two. Bounce inside. He was wide open. Nice pick and roll. Oldest play in the book, Stevens. Step back. Rex Steiner. Rattles in. And the bigger guy on it. That gets washed away with a performance from Lynn Kidd, who has 25, and now 27. Career high keeps getting added up for Lynn Kidd. Another test before taking on UMBC. Block for Kidd. Jones recovers. Another block. This time, though, a bit too physical for the officials' liking. 18-point lead for Virginia Tech. Most of that coming from Lynn Kidd, who now has 31 points. Sprouse jump stop. Mayock, he's had a pretty quiet day, but a pure shooter. Virginia Tech's done a good job. But... Bobby Barron's wide open. Just the fourth three of the night for Virginia Tech, but Robbie Barron adding his first. Shot clock down to three. Tyler Nickel needs to take it. Nothing but net. He really needs no room. As long as he can catch it in rhythm. Still out there now here in the final two and a half minutes. 
Robbie, Robbie Barron. Double digit assist for Rex Steiner. Resuming ACC play. Remember, the 1 0 in the ACC after a win against Louisville. But for league play to continue here as Mayock hits another. Next score or two. Wessler looking for a way to back in. Pure <laughs> left handed shot. This will really help Wessler get some confidence, get some playing time. Alessandro Webb. Bounce inside. Took advantage of that and took advantage of their size. Hokies improved to 9-3 and three on the season. ACC play ahead for Virginia Tech. American Falls to 5-7, and seven, but a solid win.